Hmm. Oh! Well, that looks kind of, kind of fun. So, the hidden herbology corridor. Why do I get the feeling that something something bizarre is going to happen then, here? Oh. Hmm. Well, okay. It's a living topiary. Well, how very unique. Hmm. Well. Uh, oh. Uh. Can I? Incendio. Oh. I didn't. I didn't. Um. Need to do that. Yes. Ah ha! Perfect. Hmm. Revelia. There any more? Ah. Oh, are they butterflies? Yes. Hmm. Well, all right. What's this? Bees! I wonder if they're honeybees. Okay. Glumbumbles. Glumbumbles are magical flying insects that produce a treacle which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. Oh dear! Well, that's no good. Gotta be, gotta be careful with the with the bees. Hmm. Rebellion. Well, I suppose it's um. It's part of. Nature. Hmm. All right, down here somewhere. Hmm. Anything else? No. Oh. What's this? Hmm. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Dry vines? Where? What dry vines? Rebellion. Incendio. Hmm. Ah, these dry vines. Okay. Aha, we can get in. All right. Let's go. Oh. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Hmm. It's a bit of a bit of a mess. But. Incendio. Ah. Can light the torches. Uh, Rebellion. Well, Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Hmm. Perhaps it doesn't. Incendio. stuff. So, assumedly we can go this way, maybe? Ah ha ha! Look at this! Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Hmm. Incendio! Oh! Ah. Yes, it doesn't like the, the fire, does it? What's this? Revelio. Oh. 
Hmm. Well, let's have a look here. A suave striped attire. Hmm, well... Oh! So through here, this... I don't like the look of it. Then putting the piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio! There we go. Like these. Aha! To keep it all away. Oh! Goodness me. Well. Rebellion! Coins, coins. So how would one get a piece of this, do you suppose? Incendio. Maybe if we sneak in. Aha! There we go. Giant venomous tentacular leaf. Oh, good lord. It really did take over in here. Can we... is there a... No. Alright. Oh, what a strange place. Let's get out while we can. Oh, thank goodness. What's... Do we... Ah. Ah. Do we have to be hidden to, to, to grab these? Possibly. They're very big. Ah. Ah. Lots of venomous tentacular. Always useful. have to take a trip, I fear. We're carrying an awful lot. Well? Uh, butterflies? Where does this go? Ah! Another greenhouse. Hmm. Not much in this one. Oh! Interesting. What's this? Mallow sweet leaves. Ah, locked. Curse it. Well, I suppose we should return to Duncan and tell him the good news. That we have a rather nice, um, a rather nice piece of venomous tentacular for him. Okay. Very pretty. Hmm. Well, we need to get down. Get down and... What's that smell? Is she hmm. growing pungus onion? Put, whoa, pungus onion. I feel... Rebellion. This tree may be important. But then again, maybe not. All right. Let's go and find uh, Duncan and tell him the good news. We've found what he requires. There you are, Duncan. Have Hello. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. <laughs> I appreciate you getting it for me. I mean, hmm... Yeah, I'm happy to help. Take it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. True. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Well, thank you. That's that's. Thank you for all very of your nice help. of you, Duncan. No more Puffskin Dunking for me. Oh my goodness. Well. We are learning every day, are we not? Hmm. Oh well, now we've uh, 
successfully provided Duncan with his proof of his bravery, supposed bravery, I think we should go and meet Natty. She wants to go to Lower Hogsfield, or she's going to meet us in Lower Hogsfield, so we've got to find our way there. Hmm. Possibly a difficulty in itself, but well, we'll 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 try. We'll see plenty of things on the way, I'm sure. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I've been in here. I remember this. All right. Out this way. Oh dear, what's this fellow's story? Very strange. Okay. Can't go out that way. Must be this way. Rebellion. It is getting rather late, but we should be fine, I think. I wonder what Natty wants us over here for. Maybe she's found something of use. Something of interest to us. What's this? <gasps> what is this? Bridge. Bridge back to Hogwarts. Oh. Well. Revenia. Ooh. Another building. What's this? Can I come in? <gasps> A bag. Hmm. A little bit of gold. Montrose Magpies Chudley Cannons. Ah, oh, Quidditch teams. Shame about Quidditch. I would have quite liked to have played. Well, all right. Natty, there you are. It is good to see you, my friend. Are you okay? Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. Yeah. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I... I can't really say. I have never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. Mm. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. No. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Oh. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Um, this could be dangerous, you know. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Mm -hmm. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Oh, Be Natty's nice, God. isn't she? She's a lovely, lovely girl. Okay. 
So. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What? What's going on here? What? Oh. Um. What's what's going on here? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. What's going on? Hello? They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. <gasps> Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so. <laughs> what the hell are you? Leave her alone. Stupid Oh, that's it now, it's on. So, the hunt begins. Is that enough yet? It's your life hanging in the air, don't you know? What in the world? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. <gasps> My goodness. Get over here, you e Hmm. Here we go. Ashwinder duelist. Among the quicker of Rookwood's agents, these witches will surprise with their opponents their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks. Their powerful reductor curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting the cast will with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. Aha! I see. Well. Oh, oh no. Accosted in such a manner. No. It's so close to Hogwarts. Hmm. Well, thank you for your help. Uh, are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his oh. little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. Yes. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Hmm. Um, research? How interesting. Wait a minute, who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's oh. the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Oh. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant <laughs> potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. Ah. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. How interesting. The research. You're a researcher. Yeah. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Oh. Um... How extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Wow. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. 
fixtures. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Oh. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. He was a Slytherin? Wow! It seems fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. Hmm. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Well, of course. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Ah. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Well, thank you. I have the mallow sweet. Yes. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here. Ah, as yes. As well as a stone swell on the ground. This. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Oh! Ah. Did you see that? The yes. The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Do we maybe have to light them? Um... Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyres sink. Ah. Oh, did we, did we miss one? Okay. Oh! Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Hmm. So... There's one. Incendio! There's another. Ah, there's another. Merlin himself would be proud. We did it! What a day! I can hardly believe it. Well, Nora, that's incredible. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. Mm -hmm. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Indeed. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes, I need to go to uh, Hogsmeade, I fear, because I have a lot of items that I need to sell off and some items that I need to purchase. But what what does this person want? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hello, Aunt. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, <gasps> struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. Oh dear. Um 
Are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Oh, Without dear. my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Has this happened before? Has Ramrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Hmm. Well, I'll keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Oh. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Well, I will nice keep an eye out. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. Yes, I... We'll go and have a look for them at some point, but I need to take a trip to Hogsmeade and um, sell some items and After what Ramrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Oh. Oh. Well, hmm. Hello. Ah. Nice little... Oh, goodness me. Nice cosy little... Home. Hmm. Well, off to Hogsmeade. Get ourselves some items. Let's get some potions. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Well, definitely. Will you purchase from me, sir? Distinguished Amber Cloak. Hmm. A wise decision. Yes. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your. Uh, I hope to help. see you again. Farewell for now. Marvelous. Is that a page? Did I just see a page? I did. Uh, yeah. Haha! -ha, another page gained, more knowledge to learn. All right. Well, goodness, what's going on here? Oh, a band of some variation. Some oh, there you go. A ghost. Hello. Hmm. Well, how pleasant. Well, we haven't time to be listening to music. We have classes to attend and other things to be getting on with. Oh. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. <laughs> How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? 
First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh! should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Good grief. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Oh. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Oh, dittany. You can all get started. Mm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Well, all right. I'm convinced that behind her rather stopped. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Um... I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Understandable. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital... I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Oh. So this is my my place. Dittany seeds, yes, let's plant them. Ah, so they'll take ten minutes to grow. Oh well, look at this with the little cloud. Well how truly well magical. Done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Oh, good. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Oh. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. It seems every plant has an issue here. Okay, well, um... Hello. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Well, okay. Why not? Nice work in Defence Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Oh, thank you. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian! And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she? Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Hmm. Well... Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Oh, well, how does one throw a cabbage? Hmm.
Okay. Look at that. Well, chomp on anything they can get there. Uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Oh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? <gasps> My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Um. Hmm. I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from the cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in hogsmead and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Mm. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yes. Take well, what time. curious little I'll see things. You back in class. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hmm. Potentially useful. Potentially very useful. All right. What's this? Dittany. Marvellous. Oh, through here. Hmm. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Oh dear. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Oh dear. Did he get bitten or something? I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Um, as am I. Plants offer so much. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Hmm. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, what a lovely teacher. Oh, hello. Did you know? Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Hmm. Well... To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. Very true, very true. Oh, little butterfly. Hmm. Well, let's have a little look. I do have to attend potions class, which I believe we will head to. Potions class is next. What are you up to now? Nothing. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Well, he's busy doing other things. Hmm, this way. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Well, there's also such a thing as being terribly jealous. And I fear that you, sir, are terribly jealous. Hmm. Ne oh, I thought it was a page. Never mind. Never mind. These doors still concern me. I will have to figure them out. But now it's time to head to potions, I believe. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Oh. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look very thickly incompetent, which he is. That's a little harsh. Well, I suppose. I saw an aura. We'd better head into potions. Assumedly. Go down. Hmm. Oh, I spy a chest. <gasps> it's the prof 
professor's office. The candles are somewhat concerning. Memorandum. Date, 31st of December, 1875. From Aura Office. Subject, Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Hmm. So our dear potions master is an aura. Hmm. Well, noble cause. Noble cause indeed. Revenia. A little look around the classroom first. Ah, what's this? Coin? I'm hearing whispers. Whispers are oh, somewhat concerning. Indeed. Revelio. Goodness me. Well, all right. Let's um, begin to brew. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Hmm. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Oh. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Hmm. Well... My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of- Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Hmm. It's probably very private. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh, why do you want to know? Yes. But why does that matter to you? 
Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I could get you the feather, but is that a good idea? I'll get you the feather. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Hmm. Keep your potion. Mongrel fur. Ashwinder eggs. Hmm. Well. Prepared, which or wizard always has a few potions on hand. All right, here you go. Be careful. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Hmm. Yeah. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be Editus thorough. Potion. Yes. Right. Why do I get the feeling he's going to blow the entire classroom up? Aha! Perfect. Felix Felicis. Hmm. Well. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, oh dear. it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh. Okay. What happened? <laughs> Gareth. Mm. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be point from Gryffindor again. Oh dear. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Well, okay. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Good. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Well... I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay, um, Amit. 
I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganwell potion on their first try. Well done. Oh, thanks. Um, I was relieved. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's oh. beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Okay, Emmett, thank you. Oh. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you've found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Hmm. Well, Mr. Ollivander wishes to see us. I am oh, never one my to. Are going to Turn down a um, a wand maker in need. So it's off to Hogsmeade. I go. I can't believe Black is still 